Hello cephalopods, it's Sky here from SplatUp. Today, we'd like to introduce you SplatUp. But wait, what is SplatUp? SplatUp is a feature-packed app made by Splatoon fans to Splatoon fans. In this live, we'll discover how to use every feature on the app and how to access it. Since the last time, the main menu went through some changes. Now, the app doesn't have the space to show up on your screen, are stored in the app drawer that you can expand by clicking on the little button above it or by just swiping it up. In addition, you can also long press on any icon to enter edit mode and reorder the icons as you like. Your profile is a personal space where you can show up your mooncake, splash tag, and favorite kit, but you can also show your in-game stats. Unfortunately, we can't offer a direct link to the games, so you'll have to input your status in manually. But it's a great way to have all game stats centralized in the same fit space. If you want to keep your profiles restricted only to certain people, just click on the box on the screen in the settings to decide whether the account is public or private. We showed you earlier the meme cake maker that we called Cephala Crew, where you can create your characters as meme cakes and save up to 15 of them. The meme cake maker now has a new feature called the Cephala Crew Showcase. The Cephala Showcase is a place where you can send your saved meme cakes for the world to see. The showcase is reset weekly, and the meme cakes with the most likes will be rewarded with achievements. Also, if you click on the name of the user, you'll be able to be redirected to their profile. If you have more questions about how it works, please feel free to ask our idols. I'm sure they'll gladly tell you more details about this feature. The app has a special notification system. Since your account is linked to your Discord account, the notifications are sent through our Discord box which means you'll receive a message from the bot when a user follows you, for example. You'll need to be in our Discord server for the bot to be able to contact you though. If you not need to receive these notifications, you can use the disable notifications command to disable them and the enable notifications command to enable them back. Here is Splatoons. On this app, you can listen to your favorite Splatoon tunes, but you already know that. But we'd like to talk about some new hidden features. A song that has a title that's too long? No worries, you can click on it to reveal its full name. You can also click on the artist or album name to a song to go directly go to its designated page. Long press on a song to rapidly add it to your favorites, or a playlist, or just download it, or share it. What does Kim suck but you're currently not on the Splat app? No worries, a single click on the little rotating disc in the mini player will skip to the next song, and a double click will go to the previous one. While listening to a song, you may notice these little noisy meme cakes appearing on your screen. They are the meme cakes of the users who you follow, who like the current song. With this, you'll be able to see who, or, who on your friend circle has a great musical taste. Or a bad musical taste. We've talked about downloading songs, but what does it exactly mean? If you downloaded a song, it will be put on your device, but the song will be stored in the website data for offline use. If you start the app while being offline, you'll have access to all the songs you have downloaded, useful when you're on a plane or a train, or just don't have money to get internet. Want to listen to Splatoon music? And of course, you'll be able to listen to Splatoons even when the app is not open. In addition, you can share your fan maze with us. These must remain in the Splatoon universe, but if this is the case, on our Discord server, a bot is available for music submission. Just go to the Splatoon submission channel where you can make the command song submission. More info is pinned in the same channel. Rotations will display the current maps and game modes of the three Splatoon games. Still, are you tired of forgetting and interesting rotations you want to play on? On SplatApp, you can set reminders for the rotations you don't want to forget. Once the rotation starts, you receive a message from the notification system we just talked about earlier. In addition to all the obvious features, some of them will be usable offline. As said previously, 
about Splatoon, downloaded songs will be available without internet connectivity. But some other features like Moon Cake Maker, Splash Tag Maker, and the Kit Maker will be available offline. However, in order to be able to use them, you will have to first download them from the settings app. Lastly, you probably wonder how to install the app. On what platforms will it be used? We already talked about this in the first direct, but let me remind you. The Slat app is a web app, also known as Progressive Web App, that you can access via any web browser, meaning it's available on PC operating systems as well as any mobile operating system. Also, you can access it from your friend. However, Progressive Web Apps that has the particularity of being installable directly on the device like any other native app. Most web browsers support that, but it's recommended to use Chrome for the installation. To install the app, simply click on Install in the pop-up that appears when first going to the website if you see it, or click the first three dots on the right top of the window, and then click Install Splat App. For iOS users, you would have to select Add to Home Screen. And that's it! The app will install and you'll see it on your apps list. Finally, we'd like to add a final note to this direct. We're looking to extend the languages available on it, and that's why we're pleased to announce that you can now help us on this part here. Later on our Discord server, a link will be sent to you so that you can help us translate the application using Crowden. And that's it. This is the end of this direct. A huge thank you to all your support, looking down the progress of this project. Now features will be released in the future, and we look forward to your feedback on this application. From the bottom of our hearts, a big thank you to everyone. It was Kai on the mic, from Slatab That's a Wrap, catch ya later. Charlie X, yet snatch my weapon!